Welcome back, everybody. So I got the looking. I was thinking of putting some like little shopping stalls and stuff here, but it really seems a little tight. Because by the time I get everything in, I'm going to have like two blocks, maybe? That doesn't seem like enough. So instead, I'm just going to put in, you know, just a little bit of a landscaping through here. To tree. Come on. Oh. That's odd. I don't know why it's doing that. But luckily I've got I've got more bone than I, bone meal than I know what to do with. So we'll just uh Cover a few more of these until it decides it wants to go. Maybe if I go up one more. I'm trying to avoid getting it down too low. Maybe that's it because it was going to interfere with that. That's okay. There. I don't think it'll be. Let's see if it's going to be too low up there. Oh no, that's plenty of room. Plenty of headroom. I just needed to get it uh, high enough. There we go. And I'm going with the acacia because I haven't used the acacia. I've got usually using like, um, what the? there I don't see him here you hear that right um, yeah yeah you, you've got to hear that uh torches he's close there's got to be a hole or something through here he sounds like he's that way Could be down a little bit. This could take forever. That sounds like they're getting farther away. They're really loud here, so. Sounds like they're farther away too. Okay, let me see if I can find these guys. I couldn't find them anywhere down here. Oh, there he is. Come here. Oh. Might let those guys fight it out. I'm worried about a creeper. But I don't see a creeper. Okay. I must uh, have not lit this up well. Thought I had this whole place all lit, but nope. That keeps things quiet now. Let's uh, get rid of this. I well, I can. Let's convert that over into usable bone meal. Oops, got string. Let's get rid of that string. Like I think I've got everything I need now. Oh. 
except for some dirt. Where were we? Oh, we were over here planting trees. So I think it was just because it was running into that wall there. So if I uh, do this, there, oh, there, oh, that's a nice one. Nice and big. I think I was doing the um, these acacia because it's different than what I've done before. I've done uh, the uh, oak and the spruce and the uh, what are those azaleas? Yeah. So, so I've been sticking birch. You know, sticking with those kind of things. I think a nice little row of these because it kind of fits right here in this area here. Especially if you just sprinkle it there. It looks like a little parkway. Gives us a little, you know, like that. This is the open, open space I was talking about. You don't want to cram. You know, I could cram a bunch of stuff here, but then it starts looking like, you know, New York or something. We don't want that. We want it to be nice and, you know, nice and uh, relaxed, casual. You can just come through here, enjoy yourself. Maybe I should put a bench or something through here. That might work too. I've got that. I also was thinking... Since I have the ability, if I, oh, okay, let me get some more dirt, because that could, uh, that would help, plus it looks dark down there, maybe I need to uh, light that up too, let's go just take a look here, um, no, no, okay, this is the one, yeah, I was thinking it was a little, uh, Might be a little light, but, uh, I mean dark, but it's not. Okay, so let's just do this and this. Just because I don't want water, like, running everywhere. So we'll do that. And then this gives us the ability. I can just sort of, you know, tap around here and plant a few seeds. Landscape looks, you know, looks better when you've got a mix of variety of different things and I find the seeds plants rather whether wheat or you know carrots or who knows what I find it looks a little better with those I'll have to get some more water I think. but I do find it kind of looks a little nicer when you just sort of randomly spread, you know, a few of these things around like that. What else do I have? Oh, I've got some flowering azalea. So I think like maybe like a one here, one there, just to break things up. And maybe just some. Like that, and like that. Yeah, just giving it a little parky look to it. And I can even stick, you know, maybe a flower in here. And these textures look a little different than they did before. I upgraded to a faithful 64 bit pack. So the leaves look a bit different than they did before. I've noticed that with even with these uh, azalea and stuff, there's a slight difference to what we were looking at before. That must have been a couple weeks ago or so. I can't remember when. But it did change it. But I think it's for the better. I kind of like the way these look. Look like little vines and stuff through there. And even here. So this is more viney with flowers, and these are just normal with the flowers on them. So. Okay, I think that does. I may put a bench or two. Yeah, maybe a bench. 
I think a bench here would go good. Let's go get a bench. So if I put this like you know, kind of make like a low bench so people coming through can just you know grab a seat. Watch uh, watch how things are going. If I do this, I'll put the flower here. There. Even though I got that there, I think that bench will work. I guess the new stand is not going here. And then this, yeah, this is not going to be a coffee. Well, no, I'm running into my uh, cramming too much stuff in one spot. This is not going to be a coffee stand. I'll put a small path through here. And then this will be like... Um, a fountain or something, I think. There. There. Nice, nice big road. Yeah, no need for paved roads here. Plus, this will keep the snow off if it ever snows. That. that works. Actually, I don't even. I can leave this here. So I got that up there. Let's do this here like that. So that gives us, yeah, a little path up this way. And I'll probably even take this out. Just maybe push it like this so. And make a little landing if I get rid of this. There. I think let's make a little bit of an adjustment. Let's get rid of these since I don't need them. We'll take some of this chiseled and um, looking for. Boy, where is it at? Okay, do I not have it? I was looking for a wall. There we go. Wall. There we go. Jeez. Do, do, do. There, like that. And then maybe that. Well, like that. No, let's not do that. Let's do this and that. Just to be a little, you know, give it a little bit of difference. Yeah. Now I have my stairs going up and down little walkway now I just need to do a little bit of landscaping here and here I just noticed I got the roofs different on those two that one's a flat roof and that one's a peaked roof or kind of goes up one in the middle that's interesting I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna fix it but I'm surprised I uh, didn't notice that. Although I did do that by eye. I did, yeah, I missed out. This was like andesite versus brick. Yeah, so that's what you get for eyeballing it. Okay. So in this spot, I want to put a, like a water feature. So I'm going to do this so we'll outline it so it's going to be like here and although these look the same right now the ones I just placed the, um, were waxed and I didn't have enough uh, beeswax to wax the whole thing so that's why 
It's going to be partially green with a few waxed copper, shiny carp copper in there. There. And then on the inside. Ah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Yeah, I don't want to get stuck down there. And I'm just filling this in because I got a lot of dirt. I want to use my dirt. But I want this to glow. So glowing. So it's basically a glowing fountain. So if we do this here. See if I can get this right. There. So just add a water feature. This will eventually turn green, which I think will look better with the rest of it. But it is large water feature. And I wish it was three wide. That's what I really wish. I wonder if I do Are these movable? Oh, I don't think I can do them half blocks, can I? Well, let me try something. So if I do if I do this and I put the put this here. It does. Water does move it. That's cool. Because I really want it to be, I want it to be right there in the middle. Ah, <laughs> Maybe I just need another set of armor and I can have facing statues. Oh, that's perfect. He's right in the middle there. Yeah, so I think I'm going to get another one armor stand and put it here. I just need to get some more armor and I've got plenty of armor. And I think I've got another armor stand around here. There we go, like that. Well, that's good because they're like entities and not blocks. I can just yeah, so if I'm real quick. Is that about right? Hmm. Yeah, and I can't, I can't collide with it. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, all I need is another set of armor and we have our fountain. I'm not going to make any water coming up and out of it. 
Perfect. Okay, put this other armor right there. And now we have a very fancy looking fountain here, or well, I guess water feature. I guess a gazing pool. They're both gazing, gazing back and forth each other. Oh, I do like, I, I remembered those are, those are movable. That works great. You can put them right where I need them. That's off by one. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that. Okay, so I think once this turns green, it gets that patina on there. And I may stop it at various uh, stages. Once I get it, I, I think I have enough beeswax. I do, well, I got some honeycomb. I can go collect some more honeycomb. But then I, so I'll leave some of this uh, shiny and bright and some of this will actually change, uh, change color. And I think this is all waxed. Yeah, I think this is all waxed because I was making it for the, um, making it for that. So I did bulk, I did bulk waxing so I didn't have to uh, do it individually up top. So, but this will turn, you get this little green patina through here and I think that'll help. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do for the day. Not much, just making my simple, I guess, empty space around the market. So I will uh, let you all go for the day. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.